welcome to another video in MTA SA LUA scripting and in this episode we talk about event handlers as I said in the last episode where it's a very uh, requested and uh, important topic uh, and maybe yeah the f uh, so the first question that we will ask in this uh, topic is what's the point of events the answer of this question is really easy let's imagine we have created marker and we need uh, we, and we have a function also we need that function to be called when a player or vehicle or anything else uh, hit that marker also let's imagine we have we have created button gui button we have a lesson about buttons anyway we, and we have a function we need that function to be called when someone uh, clicked on this button uh, using his mouse or we need a function to be called also when someone typed something on the chat or uh, s someone typed command we need the function to be called also one more question here is, is how events work on the code so we have a, uh, we have an action happened on triggered it will call the event mta function and uh, uh, the f event itself will call our function will execute our function in order to understand what we are talking about uh, we need to, to unique to to read this document in the MTAS uh, MTASA wiki, I would put the link below uh, in the description. Read it and uh, yeah, m m stop the video, read it, and come back. Uh, there is also another document which is talking about event system. Uh, also, I recommend to read it. Also, there is an example here. I, I will I will cr I will put my my example. I will create my own example. Uh, it's more complicated than that than that one but I will explain that one and then we will try to create uh, my example so yeah here it, it will get the root element which is everything here we define our function which is on player on player spawn handler yeah and uh, here we, we got the player name uh, and here we will output uh, the player name attached to has pound which will be for example Darhal has pound uh, and here we will uh, need to attach uh, the event on player spawn to 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 that uh, to that function here. So add the event handler and the event name, uh, which will be string on player spawn. Uh, actually, you need you you can find all event uh, names here, client events and server events. Client events is for UI uh, buttons when someone clicks the button when I don't know. Anyway, uh, server events for uh, you know, yeah you go ahead and check it. It, it's for marker call call shape element destroy of for everything made basically um, uh, yeah the root element which is everything this uh, so the root element the second argument here is actually the element that you need to attach the event so if for example have we have four markers and we need uh, uh, or two markers red and blue one we need uh, okay we need the player if the player uh, uh, entered we need we need uh, to output for example you have entered the blue marker so uh, we have created f we have we need to create a function uh, and here output chat we need to use output chat box uh, the player name and you have entered the mark blue marker and we need to 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 put uh, the variable of this marker here for example and here the function basically the function name attach uh, you need to create a uh, table which is named marker position and uh, you need to put x y and uh, x y and z coordinates uh, well you may ask how can i get those coordinates just go to the game it's kind of uh, it's kind of simple yeah just go in the game and uh, press p uh, to get your admin panel right here uh, so yeah uh, just just copy those x y and z coordinate here uh, then we need to create a loop for i which is index v the value in pairs and our marker was do and uh, we need to oh we need to define another variable here for uh, world markers which are already created okay ah. uh, marker marker index i equal create marker and we need x y marker yeah like that uh, okay i get this function from the wiki uh, all mta functions exist in the wiki just put just click surf appear here x y and z coordinate so it requests for uh, y uh, v1 
X, which is V1, right here. And uh, V2, it will be uh, Y, will be but Y, yeah. And Z will be V3. And here we need the type, basically, which is checkpoint. Or oh, I will be with cylinder, cylinder, or whatever it's called. Anyway, you know. Uh, the size which is two, I'll put you three, two, four. Everything guys accepted here. The size and RGB. RGB is the color. R stands for red, G for green, and blue for sorry. Um, I need to hit put zero. Uh, so yeah, uh, we need to attach the event handler here. Event handler on marker hit. Uh, you can go to the wiki and search for server events because we are on the server side. We go to server events, marker events, and then on marker head, and then you and the explanation, of course, here and uh, with the example. Yeah, so wiki is a great place to learn. They really did a great job. I will not do root here because it will attach to uh, any marker that exists in the server. We just need to th for those three markers, uh, marker. I and uh, the function name which will be a marker hit function name. I will just call it like that. Uh, you need to, you can call it whatever you want. Well, uh, I yeah. The, so uh, here I think it's confusing the element that will be attached. Um, it can be button if you uh, use on client click. It can be uh, button. Uh, just put the bottom variable here marker just put the marker here for the specific marker that you need to the event to call to so yeah uh, I think it's helpful anyway uh, let's put our function here and yeah uh, oh uh, event handlers event handlers give us uh, in some situations it gives some arguments for us that we need to use uh, for example, hit element uh, here. We, ha we have parameters. Yeah, they call them parameters or arguments, whatever. Here it said element, hit element, and boolean, which is matching dim dimension. Yeah, the element that hit the marker. So hit element is the element that hit ma the marker. Uh, we not put player here because element can be vehicle, player, object, whatever. And the same thing. Okay, call them whatever you want. Just use them correctly. So if uh, they are in the same dimension the player and the marker in the same dimension and the element exists and the get element type is the player of the element yeah wait of the element is the player it's the same as the player then then continue uh, then we need to output chat box box yeah output chat box uh, oh yeah have entry marker okay this is uh, different from the last examples that we already use just output chat box output chat box oh this is I think uh, this is nice example you need here to put the element that uh, the text will be up here you can go ahead to the output chat box function and you need you need to check the parameters or the arguments that you need here Get root element, which is the element, uh, yeah, visible to you. This specifies who the chat is visible. A player in this element will see the chat, see visibility, yeah. So if you put root uh, and I hit that marker, everyone will see that message. So you need to just specify the element here for me or for anyone else who just hit the, element, the marker. Sorry, uh, we need to put the color uh, a red, green, blue. I will just put red because I like red, I like blue, but uh, okay, it's okay with red. Uh, okay, oh, you have entered my okay. Let's check just I do not make a mistake anywhere and uh, go under start your script. I already tested the script so it works successfully. Uh, hide this. Go ahead. Ah, those the markers there. Ah, yeah, they are floating in the air. Oh, this is funny. Oh, this is not funny, but you need to fix it just by doing minus, minus 0 0.8 maybe. 9, it's okay with 9. To avoid them from being uh, floating in the air, because this is silly. Uh, yeah, it's fixed. I think uh, it's not fixed. Uh, if it's not fixed, just make it higher. Uh, so yeah, uh, it works. If we enter marker, oh, you have entered marker. 
Oh, you have entered a marker and it worked fine. So yeah, I think uh, pretty much is it for this episode. Oh, we have to talk more events about events in the uh, in the next episode. We will talk about uh, yeah, there is more about events. Uh, in the next episode, we'll talk about a uh, trigger event, a uh, tri trigger client event. Uh, or trigger server event uh, so this is needed to synchronize between client and server side in order to uh, if you need to synchronize between them um, we talk about that in the next episode but uh, at the moment I cannot uh, uh, yeah at the moment it's okay uh, just try to some exercise with them just try to to see the wiki examples try to to see about more events try to see about more functions and so try to to do something with yourself uh, and yeah uh, do subscribe if you haven't yet uh, put a like if you have any anything you if you get anything new from this video uh, put put comment if you have any feedback or if you have problem uh, if you have problem also don't forget to post your code I will help us as soon as possible uh, and uh, yeah that is it for this episode have a fantastic week and I'm gonna see you in the next one Like a lady, it's a lot of rugged waiting